Hi guys, this is James from ES Sabres. So today I'm going to go through how to use our new Eco V2 or Xenopixel V2 blade. Um, so this is basically an upgrade from the, the older Eco version that we had uh, previously on the website. Um, th this has only just come in like the last week. Um, so it's quite new to us still and we're still learning how to use these. But very excited about them. Uh, they've got a ton of uh, new features compared to the, the RGB um, and just like the old Eco, they use a, an LED blade, a pixel blade um, they've still got smooth swing, they've still got a, a lot of the old effects um, but with new cool features which I'm going to go through today with you. So uh, to use these, um, you're going to use them similar to the, the RGB um, base lit versions you're going to hold the button to power it on. Power on. And you'll hear that it's powered on. You press the button to turn it on. And you're just going to hold down the button. Two flashes to turn it off. If I turn it on and then hold the button for one flash, this will now do the, the drag effect on the end of the blade. And to turn that off. I just hold down, so I just press the button and I hold down to turn the blade off again. So if I want to change the blade colour, what I'm going to do is turn it on. And this time rather than holding it down for one LED flash or half second, I'm going to hold it down for one second, which is two LED flashes. And this will just start to cycle through the different colours. So when I get to a colour I want, all I'm going to do is press the button. So if I stop on, let's maybe go for a red. Ah, just missed the red, okay. Got a pink colour though. So turn it off and hold the button down for one second to LED flashes. So that's the, the drag effect when you've got it turned on, um, holding it down for one flash and the colour change which, which is holding it down for two flashes. So while the, the Sabre's powered on like this, but without the blade being ignited, I can start to change some other settings. So if I hold it down for one flash, half second, mute. it goes through mute, the different sound options are mute, high volume, low volume. Volume high, volume low, mute. Okay. Volume high, volume low. And if I hold it down for two flashes so for a second pulse it changes the, the the effect on the blade okay so i think there's five on this um on our profis we only had three which were in the presets we had stable uh unstable and um, pulse um so this has got a few more on it so i'll just show you these so the pulse it's got like a slight glow and then it dims and, and then it keeps repeating itself. Turn this off. Go to the next one. Rainbow blade. Rainbow. Turn it on and it comes on with the, these rainbow colours. Turn this off and change to the next one. Unstable. Unstable. So this one flickers quite a lot. And if I change to the next one. Fire blade, similar to the unstable, um, but the, the effect's slightly different. It's, it doesn't look so much like a strobe light. Um, it's more like that fire effect, what it says in the name. Steady. And then back to the start, which is steady. It's just a, a straight blade. So next one, if we hold the button down for three flashes, Blaster which blade. is one and a half seconds okay um there's some pretty cool features on this one now i think you've got blaster effects uh you've got a ghost mode and you've also got different startups so the way the blade ignites so this blaster one when we turn it on now okay it's on but there's no blade uh no blade color so what we do is when we press a button on this one it actually has a blaster effect
And we can also change the color of this still. So just as normal, I'll turn it on. And if I hold it for two flashes and I'll cycle through. So if I want a different color, let's go for, okay. So I've got kind of a white one now. Pretty cool effect you can see like the the light go from the bottom of the the blade where the hilt is all the way to the tip and turn that off I'll go to the next one so we'll hold it down for three flashes ghost blade, ghost blade. so what this means when I turn it on there's actually no blade color that comes on until I move it so as soon as I start to move it it turns on and when I stop it goes off and the next one Okay, so this is just a different startup now, a different ignition. I'll turn this one on. And again, I'm just going to hold down the button for three flashes. Go on a different ignition. Turn that one off. And again, three flashes. So this is the third ignition. fourth one and the fifth one standard blade and then we're back to the start so you see it's got some pretty cool ignitions and um, because I, I know a lot of people when they were getting the profis they, they want to see that ignition where it starts at the bottom works its way up so to have five different ignitions now is, is a really cool feature on these new uh, eco blades that we have or Zeno pixel um, so if I now hold the button down for four flashes what it will do is just cycle through the different um, the, the different sound fonts okay I hope you, you found that video useful. It's just a, basically a quick kind of introduction to our Eco version 2 or our Zeno Pixel version 2, um, just to show you the features and how, how you use the button and changing the settings on it.